Hey, you guys, welcome into the channel. I hope that everybody is having an amazing day. Mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius because Sag is the last one that I have to do. So let's get it. It's going to be a little difficult for me to read this. Um, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to take myself out of it. How about that? That's what we'll do. Okay, I'm going to take myself out of the equation altogether. All right, and I'm just going to read your energy. Okay, welcome into the channel, you guys, if you're new, and welcome back if you guys are returning. Thank you all for your love, your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I appreciate it, you guys. And let's go ahead and get into this. So immediately, before turning on the camera, I heard um, something, okay? Um, somebody, oh yeah, that's what I heard. Somebody here, you could have been watching, uh, you could have been watching Coming to America, Okay, because I heard let your soul glow. Okay, <laughs> y'all remember the activator that them people was using in the movie? All right, let your soul glow. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, this five of wands is like remaining at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, so five of wands. All right, somebody wanted all the smoke with you. All right, we got the hangman, we got the four of pentacles, the queen of wands, the empress, and the ten of pentacles. Okay, so the hangman. Four of Pentacles. I feel like somebody tried to trick somebody into holding back from you. Whoever this is, they were trying to trick from holding to hold back from you. They see you as the Empress. This could be somebody you're in a commitment with or planning to commit to. Okay. This could have been the mother of someone's child here. The Page of Swords. Okay, the three of wands, the moon card. Yeah, behind the quote, behind the scene, okay, behind it all, behind the curtain, if there was a curtain and we were peeping behind it, you would see somebody pulling all kind of strings, okay? They over there trying to direct traffic, all right? They trying to get people to, to not come towards you is what I'm seeing. Somebody sees that you're very fruitful, okay? Very abundant. You have this ability to grow or expand life, okay? Um, also, it's like you attract long life commitments. Someone sees this. They want to figure out It's like somebody wants to know how you view life. This is weird. I also see you stepping into the unknown, okay? There's somebody spying on you and your family. They see you receiving some type of recognition with the Six of Wands, okay? Ten Swords. The Nine of Swords. could be somebody's ex-wife, ex-spouse, ex-lover that's watching you, spying on your family. I'm hearing secretly obsessed. Somebody's secretly obsessed with you? What the heck? We got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's like you don't want nothing to do with whoever this is. Like, you could have cut them off like, <laughs> there is no communication between you all. Or whoever. Maybe your person cut this person off. There is no communication between them, not on that level. If you, they have kids together, yeah, they may talk about the kid, okay? But as far as anything else, nah. This person is haunted. The Nine of Swords, they're haunted. They're haunted by this commitment. They're haunted by this contract. They're haunted. I feel like they're haunted because they're in regret. Somebody's going to find out they're pregnant. When they find this out, when somebody hears that you're pregnant, they're going to be like, oh, like you might need to like get security, okay? But somebody here, you might need to get a restraining order. Like, this is ugly. But this person that you're going to need to protect yourself from, 
okay? It's an outside party. The Three of Cups is here. But this person regrets having a third party. This person cheated on you or your person. And now they're sitting here. Let me tell you what happened. This person just sat up here. They had a whole marriage with somebody. Okay. They were supposed to be committed to this person. Well, they weren't. They cheated on this person. This person left them, found somebody else. And this person is mad because this person wants your person back or wants you back, but it ain't happening because they've been, they're getting shut down so hard. Okay. So it's a vibe here where, they, where they're at the outside looking in. All right. They're watching you celebrate. They're watching you be happy or they're watching this person be happy with you. And it's a vibe where it's making them sick. Page of pentacles. There's the pregnancy. Someone's going to hear that you're pregnant or something. Maybe you're open to pregnancy. Maybe you're open to having a family with this person. Knight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. Somebody here, you're going to have a son. This baby didn't already been conceived. Somebody pregnant with a boy, congratulations. This person keeps trying to find their way back in, but they held back. Oh my God. No. Yes, they did. They held back. But not only that, it's like they're trying to they're they're trying to catch you up in a trap. But that's why they're trying to direct this traffic. That's why they want people to. They don't want people to come towards you. They don't want people to like you. So they could be trying to change someone's mind about you. Or change someone's perception of you. Spiritual belt, excuse me. So that's what it is. They're trying to change someone's perception of you. King of Cups. This masculine. The masculine who's cut them off. Or the masculine that you cut off. Y'all take this and flip it how you need to. I feel like both of y'all could have somebody that's like still wanting to be with you all. And they can't stomach, they can't stomach the, 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 the idea that you're genuinely happy and it's not with them. They don't like that shit. For the season of Virgo, six of cups. This person could have wanted children with you, but you blocked that idea out. You're like, nope. The full card. You leaped off in a new direction. You allowed faith. You let go and let God. And now this person feels like a fool. It's weird because now this person wants to make it like you betrayed them, but that's not what happened. You didn't betray this person. You or your person didn't betray this person. <laughs> the betrayal was, they did it all. They did this to themselves. Like, this is sad. It's sad. My head hurts. This person makes my head hurt. It's sad because it's like, when you had me, you treated me badly, right? And now that I'm happy with somebody else, you want me back. There's a song by Leela James. Let me see if I can find it. I think where she says, I don't want you back. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, don't want you back. Y'all check out that song, Leela James, Don't Want You Back. Because this is how somebody here feels, okay? Whether it's just you or this is your person or whoever this is that I'm reading for. I don't want you back. Okay? This could be the both of y'all. Maybe you're both in a situation. Y'all might both have to get restraining orders against your exes. I'm hearing Boo Boo the Fool. I'm hearing Won't Shoot Willie. I'm hearing Willie Lump Lump. <laughs> Spirit, come on now. Come on now. 
You guys are leveling up. Your relationship is like going to the next level with this person. And it's somebody that's mad in the sidelines, okay? Damn, that car shot out of there. Yeah, the four of wands. Somebody could be getting married. You could be getting married. I'm getting married, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four of swords. You deserve this. You deserve this peace. You absolutely do, okay? Let's go ahead and pull a spiritually rich AF card on this. This is hard to read because I know it's Sagittarius. <laughs> Someone's tied up, though. They're trapped or they're, like, stuck on you or your person, okay? They're really doing some extra stuff in the background trying to get somebody to hold back from you. they like, going above and beyond. Let's try that again. Holy Spirit. Putting the win and twin. Crystal lover. Somebody here, somebody's name could be Crystal or you could love crystals. It says, I forgive the past and heal for the future. I feel like that's basically what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to forgive the past and whatever nonsense they got going on. Heal for your future, which here you are doing just that. And here's your future, the four of wands. Y'all already, you're, mm, you're doing what's required for you and your happiness. Okay. You and your stability, all right? You and your future. So this song is called, um, it's called Henny and Crystals. And it's by Domani, Domani, okay? This is T.I. sign, all right? Let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and get a, well, I feel like that is T, but that's the overall energy, Henny and Crystals, okay? Your person could love Henny and you could love Crystals, <laughs> Wow. Okay. Right. What's tea for my Sagittarius for this reading? The last read for this zodiac for Virgo season. What's the tea, Holy Spirit? Oh. Okay, we got two. Any, 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 both. Okay, we got Alien Superstar by Beyonce. Oh, Sagittarius, you got some blessings coming in. Okay. Woo! The other song that you got was Black Parade. Okay, both by Beyonce. Virgo could be very significant. Check out the Virgo reading. It's titled Perfect Timing. Okay. Y'all outside. Okay, we outside. All right. So I feel like something about that is significant. Y'all definitely got some blessings coming in. Let's go ahead and see what other signs are significant for your reading. What other signs you may need to check into? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Show me clearly for this viewer. Libra and Aquarius. Libra's reading is titled Close and Aquarius's reading is titled Floating Away. So somebody could have been afraid to get close we got Capricorn and Taurus, okay? Capricorn's reading is titled Swinging in the Rain. Taurus is titled Practice, okay? Maybe somebody was afraid to have children with you. And then here you are moving on and you're having a family. Ten of Pentacles is out here. The Empress is out here. The Empress is pregnant, very much pregnant. Focused on her passions, Queen of Wands energy, pregnant, Taking care of home, Ten of Pentacles. Stable home as well. Learning new, okay? I feel like enjoying a new healthy connection. Like tripping out because you're realizing that, damn, I, I can have, I can have love and, you know, happiness. Scorpio. Scorpio's reading was titled Shine. Okay? And still, you know, shine. Still not lose myself and still be happy. You know, it's weird. Like, for example, there's situations I've been in and it's like, yeah, you may have love, but you'd be miserable. Like, and then it's like, is it really love? You know, because the other person, you're always wondering what they're doing. In this situation, I feel like you're not doing that. You're like, 
Mm -mm. This person, they were looking for somebody like me and I was looking for somebody like them. I feel like y'all are a perfect match who have found each other or will be. If you're single, Sagittarius, prepare for a, a healthy connection. Okay? Now, is it going to be perfect? No. But damn near. Okay, check out Ophiuchus' reading. Cancer energy as well. Cancer play is going to play. Ophiuchus. Pressure. Can we get a Sag card? There you are. All right. So those are all the signs that are relevant to your reading Sag series. And here you are in your own reading. So there's that. Let's go ahead and pull it short and sweet. And then I'm going to wrap this up. Okay, you guys. goals wow <laughs> couple goals get ready the funny part is my message said baby girl i hope you're ready because me and my honey are about to go somewhere and it's a vibe where i started to say that this person is ready so i hope you're ready and then the card that comes out it says get ready <laughs> all right sash this has been your reading i hope you guys enjoyed henny and crystals is your title of your reading i'll catch y'all in the next one bye y'all